know what to think He napped to the ground and pulled out the ring and said Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to Lucy Allen. Well, today I'm gonna talk about very old topic English So, when you read the title, do not take English so serious Are you serious? I'm serious, 100% So, the problem is, um, I realized that one of the biggest obstacle of students or whoever wants to study English is the mindset In Asia, a large Students and parents, uh, especially parents, they kind of, um, how can I say, take academic studying in a very serious way. That's why all kind of A plus, 10 mark stuff is really important to them. And when it comes to English, so they kind of think about it like something, some kind of skills that they have to gain very high marks whenever they go to school they have to do it right, they have to do it well I mean this is true, completely true if you do it randomly perfect well, then you're gonna get 10 marks and stuff you're gonna be an A plus student, that's totally awesome but the thing, the negative, the downside of this is that um, gain the skills for school, for marks, for being praised that, that's it and it's, it's really hard and sometimes it gets really boring for many people because they don't find the passion in it they don't see the good side, the realistic side of English all they ever see is just academic English only on paper and that's it the, the more they think like that, the more boring it gets so that's why I really really want to make this video to just show you guys a totally other side of thinking about English What I'm talking about here is that when you just think about just grammar and some um, boring monotonous cycle of learning by heart all kind of list and of vocabularies all kind of forms of grammar that you need to just learn it gets kind of creepy <laughs> I mean I'm serious I know how it feels like because I, I was like that after all, English is a language and a language is born to help people communicate with each other to use in real life in real life which means that you need to just apply it to your life through what? movies, music, talking, thinking I mean anything it's just it's just when you just look at papers and all just words and grammar stuff, it gets really... Ugh! I mean, yeah, seriously. Somehow along the way, I believe that when you just start to do and follow what I'm about to say, your interest in English is gonna increase day by day. So, huh. the first tip that I want to share with you is watching movie okay it, it sounds uh, it's not new at all everybody know oh, what movie and stuff blah 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 um, but I'm gonna show you some more specific ways that you can actually learn something from movies not just watch it and let it just go and then say bye bye for it forever no 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 so uh, the first way I learned this from internet you can just search the phrase script before you watch a movie or along with watching movies like you just watch 10 minutes and then just turn on the script read through the script and find some words that you don't know you look for it through dictionaries and you learn the meaning of the word so the part of the movie that run through the word you can just feel the context of uh, where, when, and how the word is used and if through the characters saying it's 
it gets really easier to just remember. However, you, you know that when you watch a movie, you just want to feel surprised, right? But when you read all the script and you already know what's going to happen next. But however, it's going to be a good way of studying if you don't mind that you are know the next detail of the movie. So the second way is that you should mimic the character's voice. This is a really, really good way to improve your pronunciation and your speaking. I think it's fun. Like you can really learn the accent. It's a really good way to just learn vocabulary through movie. It's a lot more interesting, guys. Okay, second tip, music. Music. You can just find songs that you love from US, UK, whatever and then you listen to those songs and you love them and you realize that some words that you don't know learn them you know just go to the lyrics and then look up for um those words and learn them it's really easy when you already remember the lyrics normally when you like some song you just listen to it over and over and over again you know that word you just need to know its meaning and i still remember studying vocabularies from Taylor Swift songs Thanks babe Nice to meet you Where you been? I can show you incredible thing Magic man is heaven seen Saw you there and I thought Oh yeah, that's, that's, that's enough Okay, so I, I still remember that I learned the word sin So I kind of really forget those words because they came from my favorite songs you should absolutely apply that the third tip it would be great if you try your best you know to just have chance to talk to people in english maybe your friend maybe your english teacher maybe some foreigners but somehow you have the chance to know it would be absolutely amazing if you can you know practice english talking to those people but honestly, it's not, you know, it's not easy to find one. I think some can, but some cannot because it depends on where, where you are um, and many other factors that sometimes you have. People ask me a lot about how can I talk English very fluently. And I think that some of them kind of think that I have somebody to talk to very, like, a lot. But that's not true. I mean, I, you know, I have never gone abroad and actually through the time I studied English, the amount of time I actually have somebody to talk to in English is really, really little. Like seriously, sometimes I was like desperately need somebody to talk to me in English, but I just, I just can't find one because you know i know some people but they're kind of busy with their lives i cannot just jump in and force them to talk to me it's gonna be weird so who do i talk to myself oh my god did my hair just fall out or something sorry guys let me fix this a little bit so yeah i spent a lot of my time thinking in english and communicate with myself in english it's not always but multiple times in a day and then it get, it just gets better and better and better in some kind of way that I don't realize. And um yeah, and then my speaking ability really increased a lot by doing that. Last tip, the mindset. Every time you study a vocabulary, you're not studying it for your parents or for praising from other people you study it for you because one day in the future when you are a situation that you need to explain something maybe you need to use that word and you know what that word is it is important you will use that word in real life for some specific reasons in the future and that's why it's so fascinating because I have that kind of mindset so I'm not kind of afraid of studying vocabulary because I know that this is exciting one day I'm gonna use this word this is essential for me not just because of the marks and school stuff English can bring to you a lot more than you can ever imagine and I really hope that you guys can see English in this kind of way that you are enriching your life. Not just studying for a certificate and, and score. But, but Lucia, I need to study it for my IA 
else that? And you're talking to me that you're not taking serious. How can I do it? I'm not I'm not talking. I I tell you guys to not take English too serious. I'm not talking, but do not take English serious at all. That's totally different. In fact, not just English, but anything that you really want to do, you gotta be serious about that. It's just I don't want you to be too serious. Sometimes your growth in that language does not show in your score, but it shows in your ability of understanding and using things. So in short, I just want to say that just like I told you guys, do not take it too serious, but you still need to be serious with it if you really into and want to uh, go higher level of English. But combine it with your life, apply it in your life. You know, listen to songs, watching movies, try to talk to someone or try to talk to yourself in English. There's a hundreds of ways out there to study this, uh, this subject, but after all, you need to work. I think the main purpose of me making this video is changing the way that you look at English and also show you some um, little tips to make it become a lot more interesting. Uh, if you guys want to hear about my specific story of studying English or something like that because I have a really interesting long story in this English journey. Uh, if you guys want me to share that, comment down below. Okay, it's the end of the video, so I just want to say that thank you so much for watching. And do not forget to subscribe my channel, okay? This is your lab. And see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Love, love. Romeo, save me. I've been feeling so long. I keep waiting for you but you never come at this in my head I don't know what to think he left to the ground and pull out a ring and said sweet boy young when I first saw you <laughs> oh gosh